Name the horse in the Canterbury Tales, Harry Bailey. What is the most common meter employed in Chaucer's poem, the Canterbury Tales? The heroic couplet. How many tales are there in the Canterbury Tales? 24. How many tales are in verse? 22 tales. The Canterbury Tales depicts a picture gallery of contemporary society of the age. The pilgrims in the Canterbury Tales assembled at the Tabard Inn. What does the prior's name Eglantine mean? Sweet Briar. How many women characters figure in the Canterbury Tales? Three. To which shrine are the pilgrims going? Shrine of St. Thomas Becket at Canterbury. The tale which is written in prose. The Parson's Tale. One of the portraits in the prologue is that of the wife of Bath. What is Bath? The name of the town to which she belonged. He was as fresh as a month of May. This line occurs in the prologue. Whom does this line refer to? Squire. The letter A on the brooch of Prior stands for Amor wins Tomnia, which means love conquers all. How many stories does Chaucer himself tell in the Canterbury Tales? Two, the tale of Sir Topaz and the tale of Millibee. The real name of the wife of Bath, Alison. Who is the only ideal clergyman in the Canterbury Tales? The good parson. What is Dryden's comment on the Canterbury Tales? Here is God's plenty. Who said the Canterbury Tales is a portrait gallery? Dryden. Where does the phrase, here is God's plenty, originally appear? In the Miller's tale, Miller concludes the description of a good wife as, here is God's plenty. The gap tooth is associated with the character, the wife of Bath. Which Greek philosopher is quoted towards the end of the prologue to the Canterbury Tales? Plato. Which is the source of the wife of Bath's tale? Jean de Mion's Roman de la Rose. The pilgrim who told the first tale, the knight. The pilgrim who told the last tale followed by Chaucer's retraction, the parson. How many pilgrims are going on the pilgrimage? 29. How many pilgrims represent the military profession? 3. How many ecclesiastical characters are portrayed? 8. Which pilgrim is referred to in the lines a manly man to be an abbot table. Full many a dainty horse had he in stable. The monk. How many lines are there in the Canterbury Tales? In which month did Chaucer's pilgrims go on their pilgrimage? April. Chaucer uses the word worthy or worthiness five times to describe the character, the knight. How many stories did Chaucer intend to write originally in the Canterbury Tales? 120. The longest tale is... The parson of the Canterbury Tales has been reincarnated by Oliver Goldsmith in his novel Vicar of Wakefield in the name Dr. Primrose. 
Name the 18th century scholar who established that Chaucer's verse is perfectly metrical, Thomas Tyrwhitt.